Dan the Man again, making another video demo of SN Email DS. This time I'm using version 0.5 Alpha, which was released in mid to late March of 2007. Uh, the main game that is fixed with this version is Chrono Trigger. Uh, unfortunately, it still has some issues, such as the sound sync and. Uh, I don't know, I've been having really weird glitches with it, trying to enter the forest. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, like that. And notice how I'm not moving. Still, it at least somewhat works, which is... It's an improvement. That's all I can say about that. It's currently running at about 80% speed. I'm going to turn off the sound to save your ears. Or turn it down a bit. Um, running at about 85% speed with no V-blank and with a cycle speed hack. So it's not full speed yet. Um, part of the speed issue is because Arcade changed... He completely redesigned the line-by-line -line engine, and now uses it as, uh, as the default engine. This does slow things down a bit, but you can usually turn off V-Blank to uh, remedy this. Hopefully I'll be able to win this quickly. And again, I apologize for the horrible image quality, but... There's not much I can do about it. Alright, you get the idea. Uh, next I'll do Donkey Kong Country 2. One of my more favorite games. Interesting. Oh, so I guess I had wait V-Blank on. Oops. Gonna quickly run through the first level as a demonstration. Runs at a very decent speed, 100%. Again, slight pauses due to the memory paging system, but. and also because of the line by line engine. But for the most part, it is entirely playable. So, Donkey Kong enthusiasts, enjoy. Granted, it might, it works just as well in the versions of 0 0.4, so you might want to do that to avoid some speed issues. Alright, um... Next, I'm going to try U uh, UN Squadron, one of my uh, favorite shoot 'em up games. Uh, darn it, the wrong one. UN Squadron. Okay. Now, I'm probably going to have issues with sound in this one. Because the uh, sound core is so unstable, it tends to uh, not work too well. Usually, I have to reboot before I can get sound working. Yeah, this is definitely not the right sound. Okay, give me one second. Rebooting the DS. This uh, is expected to be fixed by the next beta version. All these uh, sound core issues. So, fear not. UN Squadron. Keep in mind that right now, I am not using any speed hacks or any V-Blank settings. I mean, it's weight V-Blank, and it's no speed hack, so it's still running at full speed, which is very nice. You can turn that down the sound a little bit. 
Although, I do want to change the mode 3 settings. So squish it a bit. And I'll add cycle speed hack just to make sure it stays at 100%. Yep, that works. Now what's notable is about this area right down here. Uh, usually, in the older versions, that area was not very playable because of HDMA. And normally, SNE Mold ES does support this, but it wasn't working for some reason in all the versions prior to this. And the problem was, you could hit objects that were, say, down here, and you could hit them without even being able to see them. So this version of 0.5 Alpha fixes that. Oh, darn it. Just got to hit. Let's see. That's good enough. And finally... Uh, oh, right. Illusion of Gaia is my last demo here. The problem is that it runs best in 0 .04, or 0 0.4 beta, not final. I don't know why, but for some reason... That was the wrong game. For some reason, it loads best... It runs at the fastest speed in 0 0.4 beta. I don't really know why, but it is the way it is. Oh, and also you need to turn off... I forgot. With this one, you have to go really slow at the beginning or else it locks up. <laughs> and for some reason I'm not getting any sound either, but... Come on, I'm pressing the start button. All right, there we go. Okay, now I can change it to interrupt, I think was best. Yeah, sound is kind of iffy in this game. I mean, it just runs at a good speed. See, I'm used to playing games in uh, the Game Boy Advance ones, so I don't really care about the lack of sound. Others might uh, argue differently. This is an interesting RPG. It's kind of different in that the leveling up is rather fixed, but it's still a fairly decent game. And it is fully playable in here, as if you can deal with the lack of sound or the horrible sound. Try to speed it up a little bit. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna go a bit faster than normal. Yeah. Way too fast, but you get the idea though, so that's the important thing. And I just got hit. Okay. And that basically concludes my video demo. Uh, basically, this version has many good points going for it. Hopefully the beta will fix the issues that were created as a result. And that is Dan the Man, signing off.